In the heart of a bustling city, a house sat, hiding a dark secret. Tucked away amidst the urban jungle, nestled between towering ancient trees and bustling chaotic streets, this quaint, charming relic of a bygone era was far more than what met the eye. Appearing as a silent sentinel of the past, it held an aura of serenity and tranquility amidst the modern chaos. One late autumn evening, a young couple seeking an escape from the cacophony of life happened upon this seemingly serene abode. Their hearts were bursting with dreams of a fresh start, their minds filled to the brim with plans for their future. They were drawn to the irresistible charm of the house, its inviting facade, its warmth, its mysterious allure. Little did they know they were walking into an existence far removed from the ordinary. This house, it seemed, was already occupied. An unseen tenant, an ethereal presence not of this world, had long before claimed this structure as its residence. This spectral presence, a haunting echo of a life once lived, was firmly entrenched within the confines of the house and had no plans of vacating. As the young couple's days in the house turned into weeks, they began to sense an uncanny feeling. An eerie chill that couldn't be attributed to the turning weather hung ominously in the air. The silence of the house was too profound, too unnatural to be mere quietude. The house seemed to breathe, seemed to resonate with an energy that was spectral, otherworldly. Late at night, when the city outside fell into a hushed stillness under the glow of the moon, like a ghostly lantern illuminating the world, they would hear it. The softest of whispers, an ethereal echo that seemed to emanate from nowhere and everywhere all at once. The whispers were indistinct, a spectral lullaby that seeped into their dreams, turning them into nightmares. Then there were the noises, the soft tap, 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 like a slow, deliberate knock on the door, the creaking of the age-old wooden floors, the sound of ghostly footsteps prowling in the all-consuming darkness. Each noise was a chilling reminder that they were not alone in this house. As the spectre's presence became more pronounced, the couple's dream home began to morph into a haunted prison. The once charming antiquity of the house now began to feel threatening. Every shadow seemed a lurking menace. The spectral tenant was staking claim, making its presence felt in ways that made the couple's blood run cold. Yet they chose to stay, attributing the uncanny happenings to the house's age and their overactive imaginations. They were yet to comprehend the full extent of the spectral tenant's power. But little did they know, the real horror was yet to come. A secluded cabin nestled in a dense forest was the site of a chilling, unsolved mystery. Thus begins the tale of a group of jovial friends who, seeking an escape from the relentless pace of urban living, embarked on a weekend journey of relaxation and camaraderie in the soothing heart of nature. Unbeknownst to them, their sanctuary of tranquility was about to evolve into an arena of the strange and bizarre. Their inaugural day in the rustic abode was filled with laughter, chatter and reminiscences. The atmosphere enriched by the enticing aroma of roasting marshmallows and the comforting snap and pop of the fireplace. However, as twilight descended, casting elongated spectral shadows that pirouetted on the cabin walls, a ripple of disquiet started to spread among them. It began with an unrelenting shadow, an amorphous dark entity which seemed to follow them, adapting and oscillating with their every step. As nightfall enveloped them, their jovial ambience was supplanted by an undeniable tension. The shadow had become bolder, its existence more conspicuous, almost as if it was a silent, menacing spectator lurking in the peripheries of their sight. The friends started to spot strange abnormalities. Objects were subtly moved from their initial places, soft whispers were suspended in the air, and a bone-chilling draught appeared to emanate from nowhere. With each passing second, the sense of being observed intensified. The shadow almost seemed to be an active participant rather than a mere silent observer, toying with them. Their laughter succumbed to quiet whispers and anxious exchanges. Endeavours to rationalise the situation only led to an influx of more unsettling questions, further deepening the enigma of the shadow. Despite the escalating terror, they resolved to face the night, clinging to the hope that morning light would extinguish their growing fears. 
However, the night stretched on endlessly, and with every rustle of the leaves outside, every groan of the old wooden cabin floor, there of dread multiplied. Sleep was a luxury, swapped by a night abuzz with inexplicable sounds and the constant unnerving presence of the shadow. As dawn pierced through darkness, they found no respite. The shadow, although less visible in the daylight, was still a persistent companion, its unsettling presence unchanged. Overwhelmed and fearful, they chose to abandon their weekend retreat prematurely, bidding to the cabin, the forest, and the unsettling shadow. The mystery of the lurking shadow remains an enigma to this day. Was it ghostly entity tied to the cabin or the woods, or was it simply a psychological embodiment of their fears? It's a riddle that remains unanswered. But one certainty looms. The lurking shadow was not merely an illusion. It was a grim reminder that often the most horrifying terrors are not those that are visible, but those that lurk in the shadows, unseen and unfathomable. In an old, dusty attic, a forgotten painting holds a terrifying curse. Our story now takes us to Sarah, a curious art enthusiast who, on a seemingly ordinary day, stumbled upon an obscure painting in an antique shop. The painting, a chilling depiction of a shadowy figure standing amidst a gloomy forest, immediately captivated her. On impulse, Sarah decided to purchase the painting, unaware of the sinister secrets that it held. She brought the painting home, adorning her living room wall with its haunting beauty. However, the tranquility of her cosy abode was soon disrupted. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the moon claimed the night, strange occurrences began to take place. Objects around the house inexplicably moved from their places, soft whispers echoed through the corridors, and an unsettling chill filled the air. The once comforting ambience of her home was replaced by an indescribable dread. Sarah was quick to connect the unnerving events to the arrival of the painting. As she delved deeper into the painting's origins, she uncovered its dark past. The painting, as per the legend, was the work of a tormented artist who, consumed by his own despair, had channeled his anguish into art. However, in doing so, he had unknowingly imbued the painting with a curse. The shadowy figure in the painting was not merely an artistic representation, but a spectral entity trapped within the canvas. It was said to come alive during the dead of the night, causing havoc and spreading terror. As Sarah pieced together the puzzle, she realized the horrifying truth. The painting was not merely a piece of art, but a portal, a gateway that the spectral entity used to cross over to the physical realm. By bringing the painting into her home, Sarah had unknowingly invited a world of horror into her life. The cursed painting was a chilling reminder that some things are better left untouched, some mysteries left unsolved. For the unassuming Sarah, the painting had turned her peaceful abode into a playground of the supernatural, a realm where shadows came alive and fear reigned supreme. Each of these tales serves as a chilling reminder that the unseen and unheard can sometimes be the most terrifying. All around us, in every corner of our lives, there exists the potential for the everyday to morph into the extraordinary, if not terrifying. We've traversed together through the eerie narrative of the unseen tenant, a phantom that transformed a simple home into a house of horrors. We've experienced the unsettling touch of the lurking shadow, an ethereal being that morphed the soothing darkness of the night into a shroud of horror. We've listened to the haunting melody, a ghostly tune that turned silence into an orchestra of fright. Each tale, distinct and intriguing, highlights the unsettling truth that our world is brimming with enigmas that elude understanding. These stories serve as uncanny reminders of the delicate boundary that separates our reality from the unknown and the sinister beings that lurk just out of our sight. Maybe you too have felt a presence in your home, spotted a shadow darting in the periphery of your vision, or heard a melody from an unseen source. If so, in good company. The world is teeming with others who have had similarly hair-raising encounters. Each recounted tale adds another layer to the intricate enigma that is the so. Have you ever felt an unexplained chill in an empty room? Ever heard whispers in the silence of the night? Seen something that defies logic? 
share your stories, and let's uncover the mysteries of the unknown together. I bid you farewell now. Until the next time we delve into the dark and unknown, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more spine-chilling stories. Remember, in the world of the unknown, you're never truly alone.